Today we are going to look at some properties of line charts. Okay, so let's just start and we are going to drop it over here. And the first thing we are going to do is we are just going to make a simple chart using lines and this is going to be let's put it sales amount. Here you go. So very simple. We made a chart. In most of the cases, the line chart is very much suitable when you have a time dimension. So let's make another chart using the time dimension. And here we're going to add order date as a dimension, and again sales amount as a month. So we have a nice looking or not very nice but yeah we have a chart okay so now let's see what properties do we have in dimension so if you haven't seen my previous video where I have in detail described the properties of a dimension uh, you can go and see the uh, properties for the bar chart and the same playlist or I can I will be giving the link in the description so you can go and see that so you can see just the simple properties field name label you can just choose uh, choose change that as well we have the limitations as uh, we have seen in the previous one and we can add a master item and then we can add a new dimension as well so i'm not going to add a new dimension over here if we go to the measure so here we have some interesting things over here so just let's label it as sales number formatting I'm just keeping it as it is for now and then we have trend lines we have seen the trend lines in our previous video so I'm just going to show that over here as smooth smoothing smooth trend and we can have a different type of lines so that is one of the linear but let's see we have a third degree polo so you see this is an, a trend which is fitting over here. so you have a different type of statistical lining lines average so where you can essentially check and which see which particular line is best fitting for your case so you can opt for that I think in my case it's a third degree so I'm just going to use that and then we have once we activate this particular trend line we have an option for dashed or smooth one and we can choose the color so if we just go we have the option for color and we can enter a hex color or choose from a palette we can add another line so here's a trick that we can have multiple lines and see which is the best one fitting and uh, that can help you uh, if you intend to use it for forecasting or predictive modeling that can help you a lot uh, these trend lines uh, that are right out of the box and it can help you to uh, finalize or evaluate your models okay so then we can add it in must write then these the other properties sorting properties same as the other ones okay in add-ons we have a conditional color uh, showing it hiding that this chart will be showing the graph only if certain conditions are met for example you just want to see it for one year so you can just put a, uh, a comment a condition that it should be showing for one year reference lines you can just uh, we have seen that dimension reference I if you remember I mentioned that it's more suitable when we are talking about uh, chart time dimensions so let's just put a arbitrary number I think this is somewhere Easter or something like that so I just put the number and I say it's let's say a festival one so we can you know add another reference line dimensional reference line and let's And this, by the way, if you see my numbers, we can put a date as well. So 
so these numbers that I'm putting in is basically uh, ex, uh, 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 serial number of date since 1920 so you can just put that uh, you can use uh, that as well I find it easier to work with uh, so just let's say first um, 0 1 0 1 2012 so let's see if it ups Let's see if it works. No, it doesn't work like that. So we would just have to put a date, number, a numeric date. Yeah. So you can just check what is the exact numeric date for, you know, for particular date, and uh, you can use that. Let's call it festival two. So uh, you see now it's basically if we have these things mapped out over here. It will easily show us where exactly if something is going down and up or we can see what there is a correlation between certain events or not. So we can easily make use of that. And then definitely you can decide how this line will look like. It will be a dashed line, it will be a solid line, what will be the color, what will be the background color, should it have a label, should we see the, you can have a show pin height condition that on a certain selection value show in model so this is so now then we come to the appearance part the general properties are just common we have the footnotes we have a title we have subtitles we have alternate state uh, in alternate state I have detail in I have discussed that in detail in our bar chart video so again I will refer you to that if you have missed that act uh, that's the key video that is a must watch video okay so then we have certain options for styling in presentation in styling you can okay, I will go for this particular point I will go over this and I will go to the styling so in styling you can choose the data size uh, data point size but in order to use that data point size you first have to show check the check this text tech box and then go to styling and if you can now change the data point size so you can adjust you can change the thickness of the line and you can change the type of the line in this particular chart we just have only one measure let's put another measure and play around with that as well so let's just add quantity or rather put another formula sum of I am just multiplying quantity with a unit price so that I can get the cost total cost of that so let's just name it cost let's name it sales you see the both are dashed out so what if I want to make only one dash then the other one solid so what we can do is we can just go over click on add so basically add means that we have a property for our one line chart separately one line so here I can just have one dashed and I can have a monotone monotone is basically smoothening of the line uh, rather than you know having a sharp edges and then we have this nice property that we can just have a chart and we can start in this particular case uh, it's basically more of a um, in a say they're not stuck so but at times if you are looking at uh, these lines are showing one pro category and then the second category or for year sale year one sale year two so you just might want to stack one over the other so that property will be helpful over there. then we can make it vertical definitely and the scroll bar okay so scroll bar property yeah so in this particular case we have we are seeing all but let's just make it a little smaller so that uh, yeah we, we will always be seeing all unless we make certain properties 
that someone asks okay just show me so this is a continuous connect uh, dimension this is the date so it's showing me for all the unless I until I change it to the custom and I call it do not use continuous scale here you go now it's not showing me the continuous scale so you see I have a scroll bar where actually there are a lot of values so there might be the case I just want to see one month at a time so but I want to see in terms of the timeline I want to see the last one actually so let's go back to where we started scroll position attempt here you go so by default it will be end but you can switch to change or you can have bar as other one and in line chart especially in the date side it gives you the option that if the date is missing how you want to show it show it is a connection show it is a zero show is a gap connections it is ignored whereas zeros means it will show as a zero it will be a dipping you know uh, it will have certain dips over here just like that otherwise it will ignore these values we can have values labels grid spacing we have seen that already and we have seen this the use of this continuous thing okay so, and that you will only be able to see where, where you have dates or numeric values in x-axis you can choose the label orientation it's going to be horizontal it's going to be tiled or auto so just keep it for the time being auto and here if I go over here so I will have set some extra properties uh, the position we have the left right position for the dimension and for the legions we have the position where we want to show the legends the other chart do not have the legends but here it has the legends and we can see that and we can change you can all have as usual we have the color properties so we have seen that in the bar chart as well so you can have all these color properties uh, you can have a multicolor by default or you can have a by year so one by year or not necessarily this one you can show it by any other measure as well and then we can write our own expression as well over here so let's just keep it auto for the time being then we have the option how many x axis values max auto how many values it will be showing and uh, we have for my year part we have the range and there is a checkbox for the logarithmic scale logarithmic scale basically uh, it helps in analysis when there are values uh, of a certain uh, against a certain dimension is very low some has very high values so uh, logarithmic scales uh, help us to scale things a little better to see the impact of uh, large differences so at times when uh, just assume that there is one thing is uh, uh, we have a value one and then there is a thousand so it's so different the difference is so much that we can't even see so this login helps us to scale these things and then the tooltip we have already discussed that thank you very much for watching this video if you have comments or questions you can uh, put some comments over here or you want me to work on a certain video uh, you can put comments thank you very much for watching Stay tuned, uh, I will be coming with more videos.